Welcome back everyone. In this video we are going to take a look at the five main cities in Campania. Avellino, Benevento, Caserta, Salerno and Napoli. We will learn a little about their backgrounds and learn a little more about the cities from their characteristics and history to their landmarks and points of interest. So sit back and relax and let's go on an Campanian adventure together. If at any time you want to skip ahead to another city, you can find the chapters of the video in the description of our video. Campania is one of the regions of southern Italy and stretches across the Tyrrhenian Sea from the mouth of the Galliano River to the Gulf of Policastro. The beauty of the coasts, the richness of its art and history and the love for food makes Campania the fascinating territory that it is today. The journey begins with the sea, the region's uncontested queen, with her intense colours, its coasts that are crawling with bays, coves and rock faces. The waters here boast the islands of the Gulf of Naples, Capri and Ischia, true natural art pieces. This region is made even more charming by the flourishing Mediterranean vegetation that alternates with its small, charming towns that narrate its history and traditions of Campania and make any stay here unforgettable. And how can we forget the natural endowments that dominate the region? Vesuvius, gloomy and mysterious, loved for its beauty and feared for its power. Then Naples, famous around the world for intensity and passion of its music. But not only mingles highbrow culture with the popular, the sacred with the profane and the joyful with the melancholic. Sorrento, a town that spreads over a gulf of Tufo, seems to tumble into the sea, throughout of small and hidden beaches creating a unique and enthralling scenery. Here, the work of man is truly monolithic. The roughest areas are now made up of a series of terraces sloping down towards the sea, used for the cultivation of citrus, olive trees and vines. These gardens give off heavily scents of oranges, lemons and orange blossoms. Music and entertainment, sun and sea, history and culture. Visiting places like Paestum, Pompeii, Herculaneum and Torre Annunziata the Certosa di Padula and the Royal Palace of Caserta will take you back in time and far away from everyday life. A trip to Avellino province is a journey into nature and into the history of Irpinia. This charming zone welcomes a visitor with its gorgeous landscape and intriguing cultural heritage. Its incredibly beautiful natural endowments inspire its name Green Irpinia. An exploration of the zone is an experience that forever remains imprinted in one's memory. Mountains, vast plains, reserves, lakes and rivers make the province perfect for a destination for those who love nature and desire a vacation marked by thorough relaxation among mountain and springs, fresh air and great food all year round. Avellino is best discovered gradually on a journey through the wildness that whispers of ancient times when this land was inhabited by Samnites, Romans and Longobards. Ancient villages are nestled in the green of the valleys that begin on the feet of the Partigno and Terminio mountains, covered by beech, fir, oak and chestnut. In addition to the archaeological sites, massive castles recall not only wars, sieges and battles, but also celebrations and elegant courts. In the valleys, vineyards and olive groves are the origins of high quality wine and oil production. It is clear that the certainty of the terrain boasts of how man and nature have learned to live together in harmony here from the early ages. An aura of history permeates the ancient land of the Samnites named Beneventum by the Romans who first colonized it. It is a province filled with history, archaeological sites and marvelous landscapes and it surprises for its atmosphere of composed mysticism that has always characterized it. Entering it is akin to blurring the confines of present and past and means discovering the folkloric and gastronomic traditions that root themselves in distant history. Benevento with its silence and sensations that only prestige environments could offer. It's the ideal destination to spend a relaxing vacation along charming itineraries in discovery of a slower paced world far removed from the frenzy of the cities. It is a journey to discover the now forgotten world of the Samnites, the Romans and the Longobards that, in a distant past, inhabited the same mountains, woods, pastures, springs and lakes that meet the visitor's eye. 
There are places of pure beauty, impossible to forget, that mark one's heart and mind with their most concealed, yet truest secret. That of the farming and pastoral culture, still defined by tradition, by this land that has always been cultivated with passion, by artistian knowledge and skills, folk beliefs and a cultural heritage, passed down from generation to generation. A magical and exhilarating atmosphere is traced by itineraries that journey into the heart of the city, accompanied by art, history and nature, and savouring the traditional flavours and folk traditions. Caserta surprises for its parks, reserves and protected areas, where a peaceful and tranquil environment warmly welcomes the visitor. The Voltorno River runs through the ample plain, with the Matese mountain constituting the regional confine with Molise and the extinct Rocca Mofina volcano that borders with Lazio. Orchards, vineyards and olive groves embellish the landscape at this beautiful land, the abundance of which the Romans appreciated, calling it Campania Felix, happy country. Fine sand beaches protected by green pine forests and land by the blue Tyrrhenian Sea made up by the coastal landscape that overlooks the Gulf of Gaeta. History greets the visitor on every corner. Medieval villages, churches and cathedrals, architecture from the Roman era have all observed the passage of ancient civilizations. This terrain surprises for its creativity of its people, for its tumlet of bright colours, dances and songs echoing from the piazzas of small towns in joyous and frequent celebration. A walk with the local people enhances the senses, providing the visitor with a previous legacy composed of flavours and aromas that lift the spirit and soothe the heart. A mild climate favoured by the protection of the companion Apennine range to the east and the sea to the west makes the stay pleasurable all year round. The province of Naples is a magical place where colours, flavours, culture and history are intertwined in a charming mix of knowledge, joy and fun. The area is loomed over by Mount Vesuvius and overlooks a marvellous bay whose beauty has served as driving inspiration for many artists. The allure of the landscape, the beautiful islands that dot the blue waters of the Mediterranean like jewels, the energy of a fiery and vivacious people open the door to the joie de vivre that pervades every inch of this land, whose popular songs and delicious recipes never fade. The multitude of places will excite every type of tourist, from the art and history enthusiast to the nature and sea lover, from the enogastronomy to the ancient traditions. The Sorrento Bay to the south and the magnificent area of the Campi Flegre to the north. In the centre of this arc lies Naples with the majestic Vesuvius directly behind it. The sites of Pompeii and Herculaneum are of great archaeological value and are most famous worldwide for their outstanding number of ruins. The entire area is interspersed with finds from the long ago past, especially those that saw the presence of the Roman emperors that first recognised the beauty of this terrain, not to mention the natural masterpiece created over the course of the millennia by the volcanic eruptions and lava flows that have drawn such a unique landscape. Finally, in the sea so blue that it blends with the sky, three islands, Capri, Ischia, Procida and a few islets, each boasting unique identities and history. In the province of Naples, tourists can take a truly remarkable vacation that will leave them wondering why they waited so long. The province of Salerno is a combination of unique emotions. It is the beauty of the coast. It is the charm of ancient history. It's the scent of an unspoiled environment. For all these reasons, it seduces and conquers the visitor's heart upon each new entry into its territory. It takes very little time to discover its magic. The Apennines, certified natural monuments, frame a setting of soft sea breezes, small bays and coves, a pristine coast, streams lined by green forests, picturesque villages, places of a distant past, ancient traditions and things still made with tender loving care. If the appeal of the coast captures the world's attention, the inland terrain conquers the soul of those who go in search of it. The marvellous, literal, made up of beaches, cliffs and enchanting caves and facing a sea that is a kaleidoscope of colours prepares the visitor for the splendour of the interior. 
The Sarno River transverses green valleys with the Picentini and the Latari Mountains hovering overhead. While landscapes are drawn by the geometric cultivations of intensely red San Marzano tomatoes, this is a welcoming land marked by inciting flavours and smells, by peace and quiet, all the while recounting its history through palaces, churches and castles, popular traditions and cultural events. And when you arrive in Chilento, you will certainly know sheer cliffs, caves and caverns, white beaches, marquees and a multicoloured sea, which is the Chilento coast, stretching from Agropoli to Sapri and passing through many picturesque villages that are filled with history. Driving inland, the visitor enters the heart of the National Park, a natural treasure where the green of the oak, maple, ash and chestnut forests becomes more intense and on the mountains gives way to the tall beech forests. It's a world of contrasts, none of the less linked one to another by the harmony of the beautiful environment. Memories of a visit here continue to echo in the heart long after leaving. And that concludes the geography of Campania. We only covered the basics of the cities and will cover each city and province in greater detail in future videos. Is there anything you would like to add about a city? What about your favourite points? Let us know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to give this video a like to support our channel and we can continue to make great videos just like this. Also click on subscribe to keep up to date with our newest content. Our Patreon page can be found in the description of this video where you will find extra Neapolitan content and have the opportunity to support our channel. See you soon.